All right, so welcome to another short video. As always, I will Roger Ali. So in this video, I want to quickly show you how to fund your GFL account and how to actually make use of Binance. So I'm going to show you quickly. Right now, I have two for seven dollars on my Pioneer account, and I want to go to Binance. This Binance.com slash en. I'm going to log in into my Binance account right away and i'm going to buy crypto using my pioneer card i'm going to buy crypto here on binance and i'm going to use that crypto to fund my gfl account which is here let me log in to my gfl account Okay. So I just want to show you how this works. So this is my GFL account so far. Um, my investment amount is not at six dollars. So, so simply what I'm going to do is, since I know I have two forty-seven here, I'm going to come to my Binance and log in. And as usual, Binance will ask you for your 2FA. So you need to register on Binance and make sure that you have done all the verification because it's always best to have your verification done properly so that you are certified on Binance and your account is not limited for anything whatsoever. So logging into Binance. They're asking me for the code, for my code. So it's it's actually a mobile verification code. So I'm waiting for Binance to send my code. So I've logged into my Binance account now. And now that I'm on Binance, the next thing I have to do is simply come to buy crypto here and click on credit card. Now you can buy crypto, we can buy crypto in two ways or in three ways. You can buy crypto using P2P. You can see P2P trading is where you, you can do peer-to-peer -peer trading, which simply means that even if you don't have a USD um, debit card or credit card, you can go to the P2P trading platform and use your Naira MasterCard to buy crypto. To buy crypto. I think I've shown you how to do that in the previous video I did before. So you need to go and check out uh, that video. I've shown you how to do that before. So here I want to show you how to buy with your USD card. Now you can see, here you can see that you have a limitation of $50. Now you can use both MasterCard and Visa card because um, Pioneer is MasterCard. And recently we've had, we've seen that there have been issues with people, with companies allowing MasterCard to be used to buy stuff on their site. They usually allow Visa, but Binance allow both Master and Visa card. So I want to quickly buy. Now the thing is, I'm gonna put the amount in USD. Right, so let me put 240. But the thing is, I'm, I'm gonna leave my seven dollars alone. But the thing is, if I like, I can choose BTC here. I can see if I buy BTC here, BTC is now thirty-five thousand dollars. So I can as well choose any other um, crypto, BUSD, you know, and every other crypto. Me, I, I normally use BUSD. I normally use BUSD if me I want to do, you know, transaction. So because, so because right now me I want to withdraw. Uh -huh. So what I'm gonna do is simply I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use, um, um. $240 to buy BUSD and you can see this is the price but the thing is if I buy BTC direct they are going to charge at once and the charge is going to be at once if I buy BUSD and then I want to try to convert that BUSD to BTC I will still be charged for conversion you know but what I'm going to do is simply let me just buy BUSD and then you can see I have my original card here which is by this, my Pioneer card. 
if I want to change the card, I can add a new card. So you can see Arewa, 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 which is the name, my original name, that you can add the card. On. So you cannot use a card unless that card has the name that you use for your account registration. They will not allow you to register or to use another card that has a different name. It must be your name because they don't want a situation whereby people start hacking people's card and using other people's card, you know, act cards to do transactions. So I'm using my original card. I'm going to click on continue. And they are asking me for my CCV. And I just add my CV. And I'm going to confirm now. So you can see the fees here. The fees for $240 is $5. It's like, like almost $5. $4. It is something. So now it's loading. And now you see that. You see the money in my Binance account. So while this is loading, I'm going to quickly go to my GFL account and I'm going to come to funding. I'm going to come to deposit. And in my deposit, you can see enter deposit amount. I can say my deposit amount is, um, let me say, $35. Because me, I want to use my $20. I beg you. Minimum, so you can see here, minimum allowed deposit is 100 USD. Right? So minimum allowed deposit is 100 USD. So, so the, what they are trying to say here is that if you, if you deposit anything lower than 100 USD, then your account will not start working. But we have already deposited more than 100 USD. So, what i what i just want to do is just put this extra money into my account so so let me say process deposit now you can see they said select a value that's not less than 100 usd now the thing is this even if i put a 100 usd here and i process the deposit you can see it will generate a wallet address for me now what you simply need to do is take this wallet address copy it Bring it to Binance here. Let me just open this and paste this wallet address here. Now I'm reloading my Binance. I don't know why Binance is slow like this. So my balance has already now I come to wallet overview. And when I come to wallet overview, I have my wallet overview here. And you can see there is no so it means that transaction I did did not you know did not go through. So let me try it again. Two forty BUSD. So once you start processing your payment, you see this page upload. So sometimes Pioneer will ask you to um, identify yourself and they will probably ask you to go to your Pioneer account and check for your what they call your security code. They'll tell you how to do that. You go and check it and you get your security code. So sometimes you just, you know, go through the process because you have been going through the process over and over again and you are good to go. So you can see here your other history processing. You can view other styles under history. So I'm going to go to wallet overview. To see if my if the or if the payment I made just went through, so I tried a few times before this thing went through because I was trying to use BUSD and it was kind of having issues, you know, loading. So it was on the website. So 
so far you can see now that i have my btc 236 dollars and what i saw if you check if i check um my history where is it here my transfer okay transaction is it is it so if i check my transaction history it will quickly show you the transactions i've made you know the purchases i've made so far and you can see i deposited 240 dollars here you know and um, so the one this this is what i just did now so now the next thing you want to do is since you have copied since you have copied the um wallet address given to you remember they gave me a wallet address here this wallet address i'm going to copy it and i'm going to come here and what i'm simply going to do is i'm going to click on withdraw withdraw so when i click withdraw what i simply want to do is i want to take some of my btc i want to send it to that wallet address i collected from gfl you understand gfl so i'm going to click on withdraw and it's loading up here so when i click on withdraw i'm only going to send about 20 dollars to gfl just to show you because i'm not supposed to do because this is like waste of my money but i just want to show you how you can easily or simply fund your gfl account using binance so binance is having no internet connection wow let me check what's happening to my internet let me reconnect give me a minute please okay so we are in the withdrawal page and you can see here i you you all you have to do is choose between crypto or fiat you can see withdraw fiat here withdraw crypto so i chose crypto and then you can come here and you know now this is only showing me one crypto because i only have uh, money in my btc um wallet you can see my bitcoin so if i have money in busd and every other so you can see it will show but since i don't have money in any other on bitcoin to only show my bitcoin wallet so simply what i'm going to do is i'm going to now take the link they gave to me I'm, I'm going to take the link and the wallet address and put it here and you can say i'm going to choose the network as btc now you can see um the fee is about 19 dollars you can see the fee is about 19 dollars so i have a time one minute the fee is 19 dollars. so i am not going to waste my money doing this if you want to do this if you are if you are trying to fund your account what you simply need to do is you need to send you can see so if the fee is 19 dollars it means you need to send about at least a hundred and twenty dollars to around twenty five dollars to be able to fund your um GL, gfl account successfully so that you have at least a hundred plus in the funded account if whatever you are funding into the gfl account if it is not up to a hundred dollars then this will not work because you will have less than a hundred dollars at the end of the day after funding it with binance except you have some other network that you can use to fund your b uh, your gfl uh, your gfl account so you can see here if i put let me if i say maximum which is you know this enter you can see you can see the fee here the network fee here you can see they have shown the network fee they are going to charge almost 19 dollars and um, you know if i click on withdraw now within the next three to five minutes i'm gonna you know have it done so you can see this was when i sent the first two money that i did on the ninth of this month of this june that i sent it to my gfl account so i'm not gonna do this today because right now right today me i need my money i'm gonna be going to use my money for um what do i what do i want to say I'm going to be using my money for um, withdrawal. So let me quickly show you how to use Binance to actually do um, trading, how to, to withdraw. 
So I'm going to go to convert. So that is for that. All you have to, have to do is click withdraw and you see your money in your JFL account. But I'm going to trade. So I'm going to convert my BTC. I'm simply going to convert my BTC to USDT. Let me see my BTC to BUSD. Now, if I convert all my BTC to BUSD, review conversion, let me see how much it's going to be. Now, you can see it is $235. And you can see here that what I had here before, if I, if I go to my wallet overview, was 235.57. So now I have 235.42. My money has reduced again. So that's that's one of the disadvantages that I told you before that if you are if you want to use BUSD, you use BSD direct. If you want to use BTC, you use BTC direct. As you start converting from one particular crypto to another, you will be having reduction in the value of your money. So you can see now that it has reduced. So which me I don't really like, but I'm just I'm just advising this because of this video I'm making for you guys. So I'm simply going to refresh this because the, the thing actually refreshes like almost every I don't know how many seconds I'll call it. So I'm gonna convert refresh. So I'm gonna quickly click on convert. So now I have 235. So what I'm going to simply do now is I'm going to go to overview again and what we'll now see in the overview is we are going to be seeing that they will still show you that the value of BTC but what I have is uh, BUSD now in my balance. It's BUSD I now have in my balance. So you can see now that I have, it's BUSD I now have in my balance. So what I simply want to do now is you can see it's now even 235.29 instead of that 235.40 something. So it's, it has reduced it. So I'll just come to transfer here and I will take it to transfer from Fiat and Sport. Fiat and Sport to P to P. So I'm going to choose my BUSD and click on Max and just click on Confirm. Now I have transferred it to my P2P account. So here in P2P, we are going to click on P2P. So here in P2P, P2P is peer-to-peer. -peer, is where you can actually send money from your, you can sell your crypto, you know, and, you know, get people to pay you in Naira or in dollar or whatever other currency. So peer-to-peer -peer is from one uh, country member to the other so you can see now in p2p now i'll click on show and you can see i have 235 in p2p i'm going to click on sell so once i click on sell you can see sell busd so i'm going to just it's going to load and you are going to change the Fiat, the currency you want it to be in. Let it load. So once it's loaded, I'm going to click on NGN, which is Naira. Then this payment, you must make sure that you choose bank transfer bank transfer you can see here to avoid victim being a victim of scammers never release your cryptocurrency before actually receiving payments i tested someone out on this you know particular site on binance and i i released cryptocurrency before re receiving payment because he actually put i'll show you i'll show you examples of how scammers you know get to scam 
someone they have scammed me before on binance so i'm going to show you so please read this please read it take read it carefully so you must not release crypto until you confirm that the person has paid you into your nigerian bank account so since i have 235 uh, we are let's assume um nana is about 500 so what you simply have to do just just calculate your 235 times 500 so let me say i'll i'll just put 120 dollars 20 000 here and click on search now look at all these people now you can see i specify bank transfer alone look at all these people 821 naira you can see this person only has 2.9 percent completion now these are scammers all these 800 and 700 and all these are scammers the only standard people that you can see here like this one now you can see all these people that have 7 percent completion 10 percent completion they are all thieves they are all scammers so if you want people that you can see this one limited if you want people that you can be sure of please just go and make sure that you check their their order and you can see that they have at least at least 80 percent completion you can see this one has 95 percent completion and you can now see that there is a trend those that have 93 percent 97 percent 80 80 something all their price is 506 506 all of them so you just choose one now you can you can click on this person's account to see how he does his um he does his business so how he does his business so you can see his average release time is eight minutes 35 seconds so you check you check there i can if i click on sell busd now the thing is another thing is this i usually don't like doing transaction with people that have payment time limit of 30 minutes 30 minutes i don't like i like people that have payment time limit of 15 minutes 15 minutes 15 minutes is is the best i like is the best i like so i usually just click and check again look at this person 15 minutes 15 minutes and this person is giving us um the first person is giving us 506 there are some something so 60 minutes so all i want to do is just click on this all and fast and quick delivery so now i click on now bank transfer only only and this is my account number i click on bank transfer you can see the the perform periodic sweeps of their existing controls i'm trying to access finance yes so now it's because i'm using you know let me just off my let me off my ip so if you are here then please register for an account where you can experience same industry technology of things got it so it's because i'm using us ip i'm, I'm my my zen this thing is on so let me just i want to put it off Okay, I put it off. I put it off. So I'm, I'm going back to this person to buy from R. Ah, Fifteen minutes. Okay. Now I will click on sell BUSD. So I think it's it's refusing to go because you know mana has been banned in the US. So okay. So eventually. I had to go back to my Nigeria IP and use um, the normal Nigeria IP. So now I've placed the order. You can see here now that I've placed order payment to be made by buyer. And the 15 minutes is counting down. So you can see, so this is going to be, so it's going to be sent to my um, account. So now once the person is about now, the thing is the buyer of your funds, we will only send you money and then click 
on a confirmation button on her own side, who can mark her side that she had made the payment, and then you have to use your phone to check if you have actually received the payment for the money. And once you have received the payment, all you have to do is <clears throat> confirm that you have received the payment and the transaction is done. So I'm going to pause now and wait until she actually makes the payment and this once she makes the payment and she clicks that she has made the payment, the, this button is going to turn to yellow and this confirm release is going to be there. But before I click on confirm release, I will make sure that I have received money before I click on confirm release. All right, so now after a few minutes, I think about just three minutes, this person has already made payment. So what I'm going to do is simply check on my mobile device to see that the money has been paid. If they are not pay you money, please don't try it to, don't go and release crypto. If you did not see money, so you can see, please release fast. So uh, hey, if you did not see money, don't release anything fast to make sure you confirm that you have seen money. So me, I've confirmed now that I've seen money on my account. I'm going to now release. You can see here that they should tell you again. Please make sure you log in to receiving bank's e-wallet account. Confirm your money has arrived in the available balance before you release. Then you click on confirm release. I click on get code to release. And I wait for my code to come. I said, I'm sorry, sorry. So I'm waiting for my code to call so that I can release this person's money for her. Ah. Okay, the program code has been sent to me and I'm putting it in right away. Submitting and fantastic. Order has been marked as paid and this order is complete. That is how you sell your funds on Binance. And you can see this price. Now, if I calculate, let's say, because what I did from the onset was around 240, and I made this, uh, this 119. So let's put on our calculator and say 119,200 divided by, let's say, 245. So this is 486. Compared to the 465, 470, they don't even give you 470, they give 465 that your pioneer fund buyers will pay you. So you can see that doing this thing, going through this process, gives you much more money than what your pioneer fund buyers will pay you. Thank you very much. As always, I will love you, Ali. Thank you for watching this video. Love you guys. See you on the inside. Go and join GFL. You can see my GFL account is still booming like that so if it's not for all the expenses i've been going through i want to put at least two thousand dollars in my jfl account so that every 30 days i will be able to withdraw at least six hundred dollars which is cool money for me so you can see every day this is um, an account that i just opened on the 6th on the 9th of june and so far i have 36 dollars and i can easily say um, reinvest. You can see when I click reinvest, it's to say hundred dollars. So it is the minimum of hundred dollars I can reinvest. So I want to put a lot. Like if I put two thousand dollars, like every five days I will have twenty dollars. Five days I will have hundred dollars. So I can reinvest every five days. Imagine if I've been investing every five days, how much I will have now in my account. So love you guys. See you. Bye bye.